That meeting was arranged by the US ambassador, Robert Oakley, and United Nations officials. It lasted just over four hours, but it made substantial progress, if not a breakthrough. Both warlords, General Mohammed Farah Aidid and his opposite number, Ali Madi Mohammed, agreed to a plan that would lead to the disarmament of the technicians, if they agree to go along with that, and a new way to achieve national reconciliation. A short while after, the men embraced, which in itself was quite remarkable, given that they've spent so much of their time trying to destroy each other, their spokesman gave details of the new peace accord to waiting reporters. It was very cordial, uh, very amiable. Everybody was hugging and uh, enjoying the campaign of one another. And finally, we reached some agreements. Number one, immediate and total cessation of hostilities and restoration of unity of the USC. Number two, immediate and total cessation of all negative propaganda. Number three, to break the artificial lines in the capital city of Mogadishu. Number four, all the forces and their technicals should report in their respective designated locations outside the city within the next 48 hours and controlled by a joint committee. Number five, the already established Reconciliation Committee of the USC should convene their meetings within the next 24 hours. Number six, we call upon all Somalis throughout the country to seriously engage in cessation of hostilities and join with us for peace and unity of Somalia.